Now, we have seen recently, though, Stevie, a few of the players complaining about being played out of their favoured positions, the likes of Rodrigo and Camavinga, speaking about it publicly as well. Mm. Can this side continue relying on Jude Bellingham to get them out of sticky situations? Yes, they can, absolutely. And, and I'm not... I don't quite go along with the, the narrative that, that people have been talking about, players complaining. They're young guys who've been asked a question and they just don't have the experience to, to, to keep their mouth shut and... and and not open themselves up to criticism, because that's all it is. And all we're doing is try to pick holes, let's be honest. And if I'm Angelotti, I'm absolutely delighted. I'm getting my team ready this weekend. And the only thing I'm worried about is, who do I leave out? How do we, how do we go about it? What's the best way to get after this Barcelona team? Because what Barcelona are doing is the opposite. Xavi can't think about how he's going to dismantle Real Madrid, because he doesn't even know what team he's got yet. And when you don't know what's going to be on the field, you can't prepare to play against Real Madrid because you don't know the makeup of your players. So Real Madrid and Ancelotti, absolutely, they, they to me, are big favourites. They've got to hone their game, get sharp, get ready for this game and get after a Barcelona team that are going to be unsure when that whistle goes. I, I, I'm with Steve in that I am not at all concerned about the players who've voiced any concern about the position that they play in, and even if we're going to throw the more experienced Luka Modric in there. And, and the reason I'm not concerned is because of Ancelotti. I, I, I am not sure that there's a better man-manager in the game than Carlo Ancelotti. There there's, certainly isn't anyone who brings the kind of gravitas to that club like, like Carlo Ancelotti. So you can voice all your concerns, and, and that is totally fine. I think he manages that wonderfully well. And listen, it's not the first time a player has voiced concern about where, where they may be playing or not. But when you're at a club like Real Madrid, you play and you're playing, that's, that's all that, that, that truly matters. As far as Jude Bellingham goes, and, and, and the thing for me that is a little bit concerning for everybody else is that I feel he's getting better. I feel Jude Bellingham continues to grow in confidence and recognise how much he can, he, he, can he, he affects games. Already he's done that, and, and for me, is, is, is doing that even more. The, the only downside to any loss of, of Bellingham's form is at least Lewis could, could stop telling us that he picked Jude Bellingham to be player of the season to, uh, in the summer. Mm -hmm. Because nobody, nobody bar, bar Lewis saw, saw this coming. I think we figured out a, a good couple of weeks ago that, that, that this, as Stevie said, really was a non-story. What we had here was a, a bunch of players, surprise, surprise, got an international duty. Mm. When players years ago used to think they could shellac everybody, you know, when they <laughs> were away and it wouldn't get back. Yeah. And then that narrative changed when, when uh, you know, people got more access to... Uh, to... Aren't they just more comfortable with, like, local home media, though, to say these things? Well, they didn't say anything. You know, Camavinga was asked about playing left-back and he said something like... Well, I'd rather play in the middle of the park. It's not <laughs> ideal. He didn't go... But not for the first time, right? But he, well, yeah, but he, he's been saying I mean, that he, he'd been he since see. last season. Exactly. And no big deal. He didn't go back to France and go, Ancelotti is a disgrace. If he doesn't play me in the middle of the park, I'm going to bash his door down and I'm out of here. He just said, look, it's not an ideal scenario. I'm paraphrasing, I don't know exactly, but you know, it's not an <laughs> ideal scenario. I want to play in the middle of the park, but I need to do a job uh, because Fran Garcia, who was there at the time, was struggling. So, I don't think any of the players, Vinicius Jr. was asked, Rodrigo was asked about the slight changes positions since Benzema was gone. None of them, none of them made, threw any grenades in. They just basically went, look, it's a change for us, we're learning, and, you know, a lot of people picked up on it, thought it was a big story. It really wasn't, wasn't a story. Because Ancelotti, he manages these things better than anybody. That's why he's got the longevity that he has. When it does come to Clásicos in Barcelona, though, Luis, are you a little bit worried about the fact that Real Madrid have won three of the last four up in Catalonia? <laughs> yes, of course, when you go back and look at the history and the stats, it's a little bit worried for, for the supporters much more. No, don't think for the Barcelona manager or for the club, because at the end, the players, they know that every single game is totally different. It doesn't matter the way that you arrive. I, I, I said this so many times. It doesn't matter if you arrive in a fantastic moment. If you lost the Champions League game on midway of your struggle, it's a totally different game. It's a totally different approach. And you focus very much on what you got in front, the biggest rival that you're going to face. And you try to beat or try to find the, the weaknesses. So at the end, it doesn't matter how you arrive or what happened in the past. It's about arriving there, 
do the best that you can and of course don't make mistakes because that's the way the uh, El Clasico is played. Well, you opened the show, Kay, trying to make excuses for them. <laughs> wow, they're at home. They're at home, but they're not really at home because it's not the home. Uh, you know, hey, it's I'm a just, subplot. Uh, you you got that. It's you, a subplot. You batted that one straight out <laughs> to the viewers. They have to try and make that stadium <laughs> as daunting. Is it right? home? Yes, is it home as possible? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why are you going for a draw? Well, because it's not at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going for a draw because we don't... You know, I'm, I'm thinking Lewandowski will be back. We know and we've seen under pressure Real Madrid, the back line has been tested, particularly with the injuries. And Kepa has uh, flapped now and again as well. The left-back position has been a problem. Uh, and I think both defences can be creaky against the better sides. And that's why I don't think there's much between the sides. I don't think, you know, Bellingham's been the huge story and has really carried them. They haven't... Neither of them have played brilliantly... To be quite frank, we none, none of them, neither of these two sides have held their hand up and went, we're going to romp away with this league. So I think it is very close, and that's why I've gone for a pretty exciting draw, sitting on the fence. There you have it.